I guess starting off and just talking about uh, coming off that South Carolina game, you hit your first three shots today. How big was that for you, you know, to sort of just get started early? It was huge. You know, after how poorly we shot the ball in South Carolina, you know, we definitely wanted to come out and set the tone. A uh, big bounce back game for us, so it was nice to see the first three of my shots going. It was a good feeling. Do you think that was more of an effect of South Carolina's length, maybe, the way they play defense? Yeah, South Carolina's defense was uh, pretty unique. You know, they were playing so high in the gaps and uh, on the ball pressure. You know, it really got, a, got us out of our offense. But uh, today we were able to bounce back and get a good win. And then uh, you guys ended the game on an 11-2 run, and uh, that happened after your jumper from the key. Does that sort of, you know, sort of just get your team out of a late-game slump, maybe? Yeah, you know, um, they fought hard. Uh, they cut it back. Now, I think it was eight points. You know, about four or five minutes ago. So for us to end it on an 11-2 run is huge. You know, we always talk about finishing strong. And I was just glad that uh, I played a part in that. Did you guys watch the football game like, as a team or anything like that? Well, we did. We actually got to go back home. So some guys watched together. Um, other guys didn't either. They were here back at home. But yeah, everyone was definitely tuned in and watched it. Especially the end of the fourth quarter, we all watched together. <laughs> Tough to come out of this place. It's kind of dead tonight. You can imagine what it would have been like. Yeah, we. Uh, we knew we were going to have to create our own energy. You know, the football team had a tough loss, you know. So we knew that the crowd wasn't going to be as nice as it always is. So we knew coming out, like I said, we had to create our own energy and set the tone early. Is it concerning at all because you guys were up as much as 19 in the second half and we kind of chipped away and got it to eight? You guys had used that late run to, to put it away. Is it kind of concerning at all that you guys aren't able to kind of put it away earlier? Yeah, you know, um, like I said, they fought hard. Uh, those two crafty guards they had were played really well today. They're, they're tiny. They're able to get in, in some spaces that other people aren't able to get into. So, like I said, you got to give credit to that team. I'm just proud that we were able to finish strong in 11 and 2 run. And then for you, how much of a relief it is, is it to bounce back off of? I mean, you shot two for 13 against South Carolina, and you hit your first three. It's, it's huge. You know, you go out there and hit your first shot. It's like finally, thank you. You know, um, I was definitely getting reps up before the game, so I was happy to see the first three win. And just got to be able to feed off of that for the Virginia Tech game on Wednesday. And you guys used the big run in the first half. I think it was 25 to 4 to close out that first half. I mean. How key was the defense? Because I think you guys forced nine turnovers down that stretch. Yeah, beginning of the game, they were scoring way too easily. And that was what we were talking about in our timeout. We were like, we don't want teams to be able to at least get layups. We're getting layups until they have to layups. So I thought it was huge. We were in on, like you said, 25 to 4 run. Going at halftime, that's huge for us. What kind of changed on the, the, on the defensive side down that stretch? I just think help side. You know, our help side really wasn't there. Um, like I said, those two point guards were really just doing whatever they wanted um, in the first eight or 10 minutes of the first half. So we had to make a couple adjustments and we were able to do that. And then in that South Carolina game,